Hey guys, today for the 200th video on the channel, we're going to be looking at the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Titan Class Omega Supreme. And here he is. So, um, because he's so big, especially the rocket and the base, I'm going to take apart all of, like, take all the separate components off and look at them individually. So, before I get to doing that, uh, Countdown came with this. He is very, he's nearly identical to the original one, um, just with, like, two extra joints. Um, but I have lost him. I think he's around here somewhere, but I don't know where he's at, so I'm not going to be looking at him. Unfortunately, we are just going to be looking at Omega Supreme. It sucks, but, um... I want to be able to get this video out. I want to be able to do Omega Supreme as this video. So I'm going to get all this stuff over. And sorry if you're seeing, you know, like the sides, like that box and this uh, gun cabinet. And it's not just the table, but he's just so big. And during the transformation of me showing everything is that... Um, I might miss something because he's just so big, so just want to disclaim that. Um, so I'm gonna get all this off so we can get to going. So yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the tank, and here it is. Um, this it, it's huge. It's really big. It's the size of my hand. It's a big, big tank. Um. The main turret can pivot up and or raise up and down. It can't pivot because his head's right there. It can't turn. Um, these guns can go up and down. They cannot pivot as well. The big Autobot symbol that is stamped on. And you can raise these up. All the guns up, you can open this. And you could put countdown right there. Once again, he's not here unfortunately because i really like countdown but that's really all there is to the tank it's really not too different to the original just minus the electronics um still keeps the same uh size and the same general i don't really know how to say it but like architecture i guess um and it goes off of these big um uh like columns, I guess, like, uh, pivoting columns, I don't know, um, but I really like it, it's very well painted with the red and the black treads and the yellow, but that's really it, the silver, because you can't really just reinvent this, I guess, like, unless you're gonna make, I, I don't really know, but I still really like it, I like how big it is, and just fun to hold. It is hollow because, you know, all this is hollow to put countdown in. So it's not as weighty as the original, but I don't really mind that. I still like how big and heavy he is. Uh, big it is, you know. I still feel like I can still have fun just rolling it around. And it does roll. So, yeah. So I'll bring the base over. So here is the base. And this, um, is made, so the base is made up of most of the body and the wings. So the wings come off separately, which are these pieces, which I'll show off, and the rest of the body. So the legs and then the body itself. The only things that detach is the center of the chest of the tank and the rocket becomes the arms and the back, um, and fills in the back, um, which I'll talk more about uh, when we get to it. Um, but I really like this. I really like um, it. You can see that it, when you know that it is his torso and his legs, you can see it. But I still really like it. It's not like Fort Max or Metroplex where it's super, super obvious. I think the tracks help that. Um, and the tracks, because these, the legs don't splay out, like, completely, like, split in half, like the original, um, they are raised up. 
and I don't mind that. Would I like it to be a bit lower? Yes, kind of. I think that would maybe add, take, I think it would be able to hide the legs a little bit better, but do I mind it? I, I, um, uh, I'm not upset about it. Um, one thing that I do think is a missed opportunity is these little clips. And the same connection for the tracks and um, these pieces. The actual like connector is down in there. I'm not going to fold it out. But it uses the modulator um, clips. It does not use the Titan's Return clips. And I think they should have used the Titan's Titan Return clips. So you could, here you can see it right here. They should have used the Titans Return Clips, in my personal opinion, so you could connect this guy, Scorponok, and um, uh, the Ark, and even uh, Metroplex, uh, Legacy Metroplex, to Fort Max, and Trypticon. That's what I think, but this uses, or even the Modulators, but this uses the... Uh, Earthrise mo or the Siege modulator, or it started in Siege, but they cap used it more in Earthrise. But use like this modulator connection with like the Battle Masters and everything, or the ramp guys. I that's one thing I think this toy should have done differently, so you have more interconnectivity to really make a big city. Um, but that's just like a tiny little thing that could have just added a bit more playability to it but there is some playability just with this you have two little guns right there and those are blast effect compatible and if you flip those up you get two sets of rockets some smaller ones some smaller ones and four bigger ones and you can see all the dice detailing in there not you guys can't see it too well because of the shadow but I don't really care. And then there are some burn marks right there. I'll show those off more in the robot mode. So yeah, overall for a base mode, it's not the greatest. Or I think it's one of the best. I think it's only behind. Um, I don't own Trypticon or Scorponok, but I think it's on. I think it's below Trypticon. I think it's on the level of Scorponok but below Trypticon, and it is above Fort Max and Metroplex. So that's what I think. So we'll move on to my favorite part of the base mode. And here we have the rocket. And as I said, the rocket is, starts with his back. So this centerpiece right here is his back. And then this whole piece, these pieces back are his arms, or his forearms. And that's how the rocket can be so gigantic. And I think that is something for the better. Um, because you get toys like DX9 Gabriel, the Wei Zhang, Ultima Guard, and Terminus Giganticus. Is that, I think it's by fans toys. Who do the exact same thing as the G1. And those toys are huge. They're the same, basically the same size, very similar sizes as this toy. But their rockets are not don't even come close to this one because they go off the same transformation system as the original toy. There's nothing wrong with that. I love the original toy. Probably even love it more than this toy. But this toy, I think it I love it. I love the giant rocket. If you hear anyone talk about this toy, you will hear them talk about how cool the rocket is because it's so big. You know, if you can get this toy, get this toy, and you don't want to swoosh around the rocket, something's wrong with you, because I did it, everyone does it, because it's so huge, it's so massive, I think it stands taller than uh, Omega Supreme himself when he's transformed, and I absolutely love it, I love, love, love this rocket, um, it's my favorite part, even though it's the most uninteresting, because it's just... A cylinder with his claw hand and a gun on the end but I really really like it you know it's just so cool because it's so big um and it fits into the massive scale that he 
uh, is in the show. And that's just something that I really, really like. Um, so yeah. So, I think since the rock is here, I might as well transform it first. So, I'm going to zoom the camera in. So, we right, put the camera a bit forward. And we will work on this. So, you can see how it splits and this is going to be the backpack or part of the backpack no this is part of the backpack and you can see these pieces wrap around and these are like filler pieces you can see they clip in right there and right there i've never really had a really good way of disconnecting those i just like to squish it and move stuff around until it just comes out and vice versa just uh move stuff around until it uh connects so that that's just what i've always uh done since i've had this toy so um i've never found a super elegant way of doing it just moving the pieces and then you see this joint and you work that joint like so and then you bring it back like that Curl these up, like so, and then you just bring those down, like so, and then that will just sit there, and that will become like the thrusters on his back. So now with this, you want to extend that. I typically just forget about it. I just leave it extended, even for rocket mode, and it can spin. You shift that forward. Rotate that and we'll leave the arm straight. And then for this one, extend, rotate, and there we go. There is his arms. So, so now we will do the tank. And this is fairly simple. We'll raise those up. Bring this out. Just disconnect that. Swivel swing it down and it will connect right there with that uh, clip like that spin that around bring it down and there and then you want to have the head kind of like that and then you'll bring that down and split it same thing split it and then close it all up think that's it you want to get them like kind of like that to like mesh in. you can see it's kind of sculpted to go into that so all right now this lower the camera down so with the track disconnect that disconnect that and then these will fold one certain way. And this one folds this way. And we'll close it up. And we'll put this off to the side. Now for this one, because I pivoted the leg, it already disconnected. So now we do this one. And they pivot this way. And close that up. There we have that one. So now with this... We're going to bring out the leg, like so. Now we are, I'll just flip this up. It'll have to be down, but I'll just flip it up. And we'll rotate the waist. And I'll raise the camera for this part. And we'll do that. And now we will do that. So now, we'll get the other components. Okay, so we'll do the arms first. We'll spin them around. And you can see this little clip. That's what's going to hold it in place. And we just slide this in, like so. And we'll leave this flopping down. And then we'll bring the arms down and I did look at the um, cartoon and the claw and the gun are supposed to be 
oriented on each side like that. So now, the wings, and they just slide in these big uh, square uh, slots. You can start to see one right there. And you just slide that in. And I think you tab these pieces into two little tabs right there. But it's never really worked for me. So I just let it lay. And I've never really had a problem. Like, I, I've never really cared about it. So now, take the tank. And before we get there, we'll flip out the gun. Sorry, I'm doing it off camera because just there. Got it. So now we will shove him in and he'll click as you heard and close that up. We'll shove him back. We'll lower this. Bring it forward just a touch. Like so. Go up a little bit. And there we have Omega Supreme. And flip that up. And now we have Omega Supreme. And like I said, I love this toy. I love Omega Supreme as a character. Always loved him. Loved the G1. And I love this toy. This toy is amazing. I truly, truly love him. I fell in love when I saw him. I saw MGO review him. And I got the toy, and I loved it. I loved him so much. And this toy really was influential. Because really the only Titan that was, like, sturdy, uh, air, that's air quotes, was Trypticon. And I think he had, like, hip ratchet issues. He just has some issues. I don't really know. That's just something that I kind of know. I don't really know the things about it. But this toy introduced a lot of things. It introduced amazing ratchets. Simple but effective transformation, especially for a base former. And, you know, it made, you know, it showed that Omega Supreme could still be a parts former, like with the wings, the tank, and the rocket. But they could be nice, chunky blocks, not like the original. I love the original, and I'm not dissing on the original, but he like, you can't deny the fact that the little clips, they even homage these. These clips on the original are, um, you can't deny the fact that those clips were annoying and that they broke and you couldn't really put them back together and transform them if you lost or broke them. So, I'm not denying that. I'm not denying anything about that. But it's the fact that he, this toy showed that and showed that, you know, these Titans have to have these nice sturdy ratchets, especially at the price point and for how big they are. I'll just show off a couple and I'm not going to talk because they're going to be loud. So I'll lower this down a little bit. So, like, just that. Like, he has amazing posability. He has an ankle tilt. And I don't think any other Titan up until this point had an ankle tilt. In his head, he can swivel and he can look down. He, I don't know how truly far he can look down, but he can look down. I think he can look up a little bit. Yeah, he can look up a little bit. And to my knowledge, no other Titan could do that. And, you know, that's what makes this toy even more special is that he's not just Omega Supreme. He's just he's not just the big rocket guy from the 80s. He's the big rocket guy that made every other Titan class toy after him feel amazing. Like Scorponok, he's amazing. I don't own him, but I hear he's amazing and just he looks amazing. The arc, he may be a little lackluster, but he feels amazing in my personal opinion, like with his ratchets and everything. Um the Guardian Robot looks amazing. Um, Legacy Metroplex obviously is amazing because I love him and 
you know, and uh, Tidal Wave looks and probably feels amazing, I imagine, and so many more Titan classes to come, and this guy basically made that cool, I would say, um, with his amazing joints, his amazing looks, his size, I think he's like 19 inches tall, so he's not the biggest Titan, but he still holds up in size, and I, I don't know, just he gives us this aura, like the original toy, that is he the greatest Titan? No, I would say either Scorponok or Scorponok, Tidal Wave, which I don't own Tidal Wave, Scorponok, Tidal Wave, Scorponok goes in with Black Zarek, so Scorponok, Black Zarek, Tidal Wave, or Legacy Metroplex, in my personal opinion, and he are the best, but he's this middle ground, but this middle ground is amazing, you know, it's the base point of, like, awesomeness, you know, like, you're, like, I don't, I don't have another example, but there's a reason why he's the basis of every other one, you know, like, he is the gauge for a good one or a bad one, a good or bad titan, and that's why I love him, I just love, love, love him, he has amazing articulation, he has an amazing transformation, super simple, super, super fun, and just everything about it, I really, really like it, and I like his likeness to the original, and yeah, one thing that I can somewhat gripe about, not gripe, but nitpick, this is the biggest nitpick probably ever, is his face, I think it is too, I don't really care that it's yellow, if it was orange, I'd really like it if it was orange. But I think it's too aggressive. I think because he doesn't have any aggression. You know, he doesn't have any emotion. Obviously, this is more off of the Siege one from the Siege cartoon, not the G1 cartoon. But he has too much aggression in his face. He has too much anger when he ha shouldn't. Obviously, he can only feel rage in the G1 cartoon, but he doesn't have these scowling, mean eyes. I think he should have had a more neutral face, kind of like the third-party toys. Um, or more of like a general anger. Not, uh, not this, like, mean scowl, I think. But that's just, like tiny, tiny thing that really doesn't matter, um, for real, it doesn't matter, um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not worried about that, so, so yeah, um, I forgot to show a couple things off when I was actually at the alt modes, so I'll just show them off now, down at his shins, there are these compartments, and they're on the side, because of the joints right there, You and this lip is here, you can't really make it like a little thing, you can make it a prison, but it's not vertical, it's horizontal, so it instead of hinging down, it hinges to the side. Um, if you can, you can utilize it, but I, I don't really know, I've never, uh, when I got him, I messed around with him, played with him, um, I didn't really utilize that as anything, so... If you need to or want to, it can be used. But I did not find a use for it. Um, his claw um, can spin. So you can rotate it. Um, the claws uh, have, a have a ratchet joint there. And uh, just a hinge joint. And they're transparent, which I've never felt any sort of lack of strength. And they're a little holes right there and one right there for blast effects and he does come with blast effects um i just didn't get them out um but so for the top of the rocket i didn't show this off hopefully so you can flip this out and then this out oops but i'll put that back on but Countdown can sit in there, but obviously I don't have Countdown. I apologize. I really wish I had Countdown to be able to show him off and transform him, even though he's just like a drop in the bucket with this toy. But I think it's unprofessional for me not to have Countdown in this, um, in it. But, um, either way, it'll be okay. But the I I love 
you can fit him in the fit him fit countdown in um the top of the rocket because it just yeah if you don't know the countdown shuttle base um I'll just show you I'll move you over to my my G1 shelf and I'll show you this is what I'm talking about this shuttle so this is G1 countdown and this is a shuttle it's a shuttle base and he fits in here so he can actually be in the shuttle. I, I don't think I can explain this. So there's this door that goes up and covers him up. And there he is. And I just love the fact that they meshed this countdown shuttle, this rocket. It's not a shuttle, it's a rocket. Into Omega Supreme's rocket. Like the G1. You know, into his rocket to mesh this toy with this toy. I absolutely love that. I think it's a cool, awesome idea um, to do that. So, yeah. So, do I like this toy? I love this toy. This toy is amazing. Love everything about it. Should you get it? Um, that's up to you. I really like him. I would buy him again. I even contemplated buying him again with the Guardian Robot, but I decided against it. Might buy him a little bit later down the road if I end up getting to it if I want him, but I'm completely content with Omega Supreme. Um, is he amazing? Yes. Does he feel amazing? Yes. He feels like a brick. He doesn't feel hollow like, um, Fortress Maximus. And I know Metroplex is hollow too, because he has the genetics of him. He is not hollow. He has zero problem standing up. I just love this toy. It's a complete home run by Hasbro and Takara. Um, and there's a reason why he was the first Titan of the trilogy. Um, whether he is not the greatest, whether he's not, whether he's not the greatest Titan ever, doesn't matter. But he is at least top, he's at least in the middle, slightly above average. Um, just he looks amazing, feels amazing, does everything right, um, in my personal opinion. Um, and... It doesn't help that I love Omega Supreme, that he's my favorite character of all time. Mi yes, Omega Supreme is my favorite character of all time. Uh, Warpath has a close second. But I just love this toy. It's amazing. It's fun. It's huge. It's heavy. And this toy, um, I, I don't know. Just I've re literally just reiterated the exact same points for like... 12 for like five minutes or whatever, but I love this toy. It's amazing and I highly recommend it. If you just, even if you don't have an, an affiliation with Omega Supreme or the Guardian Robot, it's just a fun, fun toy. And dropping $200 for it, I think this was 160, 150, 160 back during Siege, but now because inflation and all this stuff. The Guardian Robot is like 200 I don't know how much he goes for on eBay if you want the Omega Supreme Colors. But either way, $200, I'd pay it. I'd pay $200 for this toy any day because I love it. I love it to death. It's an amazing toy. I know this video is like so late because he's basically irrelevant. People have already reviewed the Guardian Robot, I think. But it doesn't matter. Um, it's just so amazing. Just it's an amazing toy, captures the awe and the presence of the original toy, captures the the might and the awesomeness, the coolness, the funness, everything about the original toy, and even elevates it. His engineering is way better than the originals, and, I, and that's coming from a person that likes the original toy's engineering, and this one is amazing compared to it, and I just, it's a phenomenal toy. I just really, really like it. Um, it's my favorite Titan. It, it's my favorite Titan. Um, I love it. Uh, I, I just really, really like it. Um, so that's really all I have to say about this guy. So that's really all I have to say. <laughs> I just said that. But till next time, see ya.